Let us discuss one type of isolated singularity. The type one we have already covered in previous video. Let us discuss second type of isolated singularity that is removable isol isolated singularity. So again, we have defined with the help of Lorentz series. So you know that Lorentz series expansion of f of z at point z naught has two parts. The first part is called analytic part. Second part we call as principal part. In analytic part that bracket z minus z naught lies in numerator, but in principal part that bracket z minus z naught lies in denominator. So see, suppose z naught is singular point. Okay, we know that thing. But if you find Lorentz series expansion, then it has only and only analytic part. There is no principal part. Then such type of singularities is said to be removable singularity. Okay. So see, I have mentioned the same thing. That means the Lorentz series expansion has a principal part only. The analytic part is zero. That means all BNs are zero. Then we call it as a removable singularity. Let us discuss one example so the concept will be clear to you. So what will I do? I will consider this function f of z is equal to sine z upon z. So if you observe this function, you can see the denominator is z. If I put z is equal to 0, denominator will be 0. So obviously z is equal to 0 is singular point. But let us find the Lorentz's expansion and discuss this is singular point or not. So this is equal to what will I do? I will consider this 1 by z outside into sin z. You know the expansion of sin z. It is z minus z cube by 3 factorial plus z as to 5 by 5 factorial minus z as to 7 by 7 factorial plus and so on. So if you multiply each term by this 1 by z, let us see what will happen. z z cancel 1, 1 z will get cancel z square by 3 factorial plus z as to 4 by 5 factorial minus z as to 6 by 7 factorial and so on. That means if you multiply each term by this 1 by z, we will have series like this. See, in this series, z appears only in numerator. It does not appear in denominator. That means the entire part is analytic part. There is no principal part. Therefore, we say that z is z is equal to 0 is removable singularity. That means what we get actually, the z, if you consider this function, you can easily see z is equal to 0 is a singular point. But if you find Lorentz expansion, that singularity is removed. So that's why we call it as uh, removable singular point. Okay, you can make a screenshot of it and then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.